Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 26th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. Having a look at space weather, as well earthquakes, world weather. Looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, still pretty active and numerous sunspots earth-facing right now. No more earth-facing events, but there was a CME that ejected off the backside of the sun towards Mercury. Other than that, still some pretty fiery regions. And again, thankfully, no major Earth-facing flares again. We did see minor activity already with our solar winds. Geomagnetic activity was slightly elevated. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, this sunspot is very active. Amazing images coming out of here, especially the Earth to scale. Wow. Imagine that in an Earth-facing position. Staying aware and prepared with daily events worldwide is what it's all about. Keeping humanity aware and prepared. Another closer look at all the sunspot regions at 304 angstroms. And as well, another closer look at that active outgoing sunspot region. Looks like it might be connected to something around the other side there. And it see me just ejected from the backside of the sun, looking at the multi-spectrum of the last 48 hours events. No major Earth-facing coronal holes either. Looking at 171 angstroms here, slightly diminished in Earth-facing. Coronal hole develops there. But, but again, nothing major. No more Earth-facing events. Having a look at the ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, you can see a small CME shot away. Backside of the sun towards Mercury. Closer look there. We are going through the Venus transit right now. Venus retrograde until the first week of January. Looking at a solar X-ray flux, hovering in the B range. Geomagnetic activity remains low. KP index is very low right now. Looking at a real-time solar wind sitting at 313 kilometers per second. Slight jump just recently, 455. And we did have a slight jump last night, 537. But still, no major Earth-facing events. And density remains low. Just wanted to give you a quick show on the diagram here, what it looks like getting smacked around by 413 kilometers per second winds. Our shoe in residence for today, a power of 11. Not much of a change there since our last update. Amplitude of 11, a quality of 16. A little bit heightened to the cosmic energies, I believe. Having a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours, we're going to start here with the largest and the deepest 6.1 earthquake in Luvuku, Luvuka, Fiji, 639 kilometer depth. That's got to be the second deepest earthquake ever recorded here. As well, another Luvuka, Fiji earthquake, 551 kilometer depth. So some deep earthquakes over in our regular deep earthquake region we can expect a larger, shallower earthquake to follow. And that's just based on the stuff we have seen in the past. Looking at the Solomon Islands there with a 4.7. A couple 5.4s here. Tabilo, Indonesia. Gorontolo, Indonesia. And the Banda Sea. Definitely active volcanic area. As well, Hirara, Japan, reporting a 5.9 at a 10 kilometer depth. Just recently here, 5.1 reported Volcano Islands region in between Marianas Trench and the Izu Islands, Nishinashima. As well, North Japan, Furukawaka, Japan, a 4.6. Minor activity still continuing through Alaska. A two-station recording the largest through the region, 3.6. Over into the United States here, California, Ferndale, California, reporting a 4.0, 88-kilometer depth. 
and as well a 3.3 here reported in Petrolia. Looking at about a dozen earthquakes through the region, very low earthquakes for the last 24 hours, sitting at about 160. Largest to report across North American soil, 4.7. And still, these rare earthquakes are almost becoming common in Kansas. Azaris, 3.9, Kansas. As well, Guatemala reporting a 4.5. And just west there in Madero, Mexico, 4.1. 4.1 here to report in Bodentown, Cayman Islands. And as well, Lots of activity coming back to Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic today. Boca de Yama, de Yuma, reporting the largest, 3.9. 4.6 here to report in Mid-Atlantic Ridge, northern Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And as well, South Sandwich Islands reporting a 5.1 here. South Atlantic, 33 kilometer depth. One lonely earthquake here to report in Chile, 4.3 in Rengo, Chile, 125 kilometer depth. Normally that area is busy for EQs. And Fry Greece reporting a 5.6. Now this was not on land, 5.6 and a 5.1 reported in Greece. Fry and as well a 4.6 there reported and that was on land. 4.1 in Errol, China. And that is the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet. Let's hope everybody has their go bag ready and are aware and prepared. Always be ready for any kind of disaster event, whether it be earthquake or extreme weather. Having a look at the last seven days for earthquakes, Japan region definitely starting to bubble up again going to be keeping an eye on Kilauea Caldera over the next few days as well. I'll be putting that on the live stream. Lots of activity coming back to Europe as well. Pretty busy planet for the last seven days. Much love to everybody and I appreciate you all joining this journey with daily events worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared with daily videos. And as well, world weather forecast. That's right. We're going to have a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Sabancaya, as well Reventador in Ecuador, Sangue in Ecuador, Nevados de Chilean in Chile, Hunga Tonga Hunga, as well Fuego, Shevelich in Russia, Decono, Indonesia, Simaru, Indonesia, Nevados de Bruas in Colombia, And a few avalanche, avalanches here to report in parts of northwestern United States and B.C. Looking at satellite imagery across the world, both the Atlantic and Pacific. Still some pretty big systems spinning across our planet right now. And there is a big one heading towards Australia. Northern Territory of Australia are already receiving copious amounts of moisture from that low pressure system. Overlooking Europe, lots of cloud cover coming in this week as I had forecasted with the atmospheric river heading to you as well. And let's have a look at the five day forecast brought to you by Media Earth and of course, daily events worldwide. Starting out here, home base, Ontario, where we had above seasonal temperatures. It was raining on Christmas day, it rained a little bit again today. High pressure ridge building in, but then we've got this system heading into us. We've got snow coming in quickly tomorrow morning, and it most likely will change over to freezing rain by midday and then clear out. High pressure ridge is pretty dominant coming in over the Hudson Bay, so these systems are not going to be able to produce too much moisture. And this high pressure ridge is a very cold one at that. Look at all these pinks and purple temperatures uh, encompassing Hudson Bay, minus 39 in parts of Saskatchewan and northern Alberta. Low pressure systems racing down the coastline here for western parts of Canada and as well the United States. 
Again, high pressure ridge building in later in the week. Big storm here heading for California. Low pressure system coming from the Pacific and from Alaska. They're going to be crashing right over California. Right there come Friday, Saturday. So you guys are going to be seeing some extreme weather for sure. And you're already seeing extreme snowfall amounts through all of this here in Nevada. And watch for that to continue over the next five days as well. Not much changing in the forecast for you. Eastern parts of the country is going to be pretty much dominated by the high pressure ridge. Not too much moisture falling. Big low pressure system here in the Atlantic is taking up most of the moisture right now. And throwing it over Ireland, the UK and all through parts of Central Europe. High pressure ridge dominant over Spain right now. Cold low through parts of Eastern Europe coming back. We'll be bringing snow in the long range. But watch for a roller coaster of temperatures here through parts of Central Europe as that high pressure ridge gets squeezed in and out each day. Overlooking Russia, Southeast Asia. Minus 53 in some regions. The coldest temperature is being reported over there. But again, those are swinging around our planet, folks. And we've got quite a big system here developing and forecasted through Alaska, Kamchatka, coming out of Japan. So that system comes out of Japan Wednesday, races to Kamchatka, and then we've got two pretty intense low-pressure low systems heading towards Alaska in the long-range forecast. And watch for an uptick in seismicity from this big storm. Very windy con conditions and dense lower level low overlooking australia still got this area of interest has not been named a cyclone yet but it's going to be drenching most of northern territory australia and eastern parts down to brisbane overlooking new zealand rain continuing until about wednesday thursday clearing out high pressure ridge moving in Pacific Ocean is just south of Hawaii. There's another system heading towards you guys as well. It's going to be interesting what this system does in the long range. Stay tuned for the daily reports. Overlooking South America, no major weather events to report here. Daily evaporation rains, and that's pretty much it. Africa, same thing, except for parts of South Africa, you do have a Pretty deep low moving out of Africa. Coastal regions here could see heavy rains. And as well, Madagascar with daily evaporation rains on a lot of it. A little low pressure system here moving into Kuwait and parts of Qatar. And then we'll be heading towards Pakistan. So watch for flash floods through the region. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Pointing out the major lows spinning across our planet right now. And much love to everybody. And thank you for tuning in today. Even knowing you should be spending time with all of your friends and family through the holidays. I hope you're enjoying. Merry Christmas to all. And I will see you all next video. Stay aware, prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye now. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.